Hi, I'm Chrissy from firstdayofhome.com and today I'm bringing you one of my favorite recipes, restaurant chicken fajitas. This is a recipe that we make for our family frequently and several of my friends have tried it and love it every time. It's a great meal to make ahead of time and marinate the night before and then once you grill it, you can put it in the freezer and it freezes really well for meals throughout the week. Let me go ahead and show you what you need to get started. I'm going to begin with about four chicken breasts, boneless and skinless, and then the ingredients are very simple. I have half a cup of oil, this is regular vegetable oil, four teaspoons of onion flakes, dried onion, a teaspoon of salt, and one clove of garlic that I've already minced up. I'll be adding some black pepper, freshly ground, toward the end, and then the key ingredient for this recipe is lemon. I have four lemons that I've just cut in half that I'll be squeezing into the marinade. And then again, I'm going to let this marinate overnight. And if you don't have an opportunity to make it overnight, you can marinate it for about five to seven hours if possible for the best results. So I'm going to start by cutting my chicken breasts in half, especially if they're very thick. Once you've cut your chicken breasts in half, you have the option of tenderizing them a little further. You can see I could have done a better job of making this half a little thicker, but depending on the size of your chicken breasts, if you think that they need it, you can always tenderize it a bit on each side to get really tender chicken fajitas. After I tenderize these, I'm going to go ahead and set them in my container, and then I'll pour the marinade on afterwards. Now that I have my chicken breasts ready, I'm going to begin with my marinade. So as I mentioned, I'm going to add a half a cup of vegetable oil. Then I'll squeeze the halves of four lemons into the marinade. I love this squeezer, by the way. I will link to it below because it has really changed my life in terms of being able to easily squeeze citrus fruits for recipes. Just a quick note, four lemons may sound like a lot, I have actually made the recipe with fewer lemons and I don't recommend it. The lemon juice really gives a great flavor and it makes a huge difference in terms of the texture and the tenderness of your chicken when it comes out. Now that I've added the lemons, I'm just going to whisk it together a bit and then add each of my ingredients. Again, I have four teaspoons of onion flakes, one teaspoon of salt, that's just regular, iodized salt, not sea salt or anything special. And then I'm going to add one clove of minced garlic. You're free to add more garlic if you like. I think one usually does it for me. The final ingredient is just to add a few grinds of fresh black pepper. You can also use ground pepper if you don't have any fresh peppercorns available. This recipe also gives you the option of adding thyme. I prefer to leave it out of my recipe. I like it just the way it is. So now that my marinade is done, I'm going to simply pour it over my chicken breasts. I'll move it around a little bit just to make sure that each of these pieces of chicken gets some contact with the marinade. And that's it. I'm just going to cover this refrigerate it until we are ready to grill it on the grill and I will show you what that looks like. We're outside now and we are ready to put the chicken on the grill. It has been marinating for several hours. Ideally you'd want it to marinate overnight. We are going to show you at what temperature to cook the chicken more or less. It will depend on your grill and by the way you can always cook it in the kitchen inside preferably in a cast iron skillet. But since we have a gas grill outside, I'm going to show you what that looks like. Just know that you always have the option to cook it indoors.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this easy chicken fajita recipe as much as I do. Leave a comment below and tell me how you like eating your chicken fajitas and how this recipe worked out for you. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm also putting a few videos here that I think you might enjoy watching. I'll see you next time.